Hi, this is Mike from BandLab. With BandLab's included instruments and effects, you can make any kind of music you like. In this video, we'll show you how to make a retro Euro dance track with euphoric chords, funky beats, and an energetic bass line. You can open this project yourself with the link in the video description. And if you find this guide useful, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be the first to know when new videos drop. I'd like some inspiration to help me with this project, so I begin by opening BandLab Sounds. I'd like some kind of electronic music loop to start things off, so I enter electronic into the text search field. Hacienda Electronic sounds like a good starting place for a retro Eurodance track, so I open it and audition some of the included sounds. Hacienda Synth 02 has just the feel I'm looking for, so I drag it into the project. BandLab asks me if I want to set the project key to that of the sample. I do, so I select Set. BandLab automatically sets the project tempo to that of the sample too, which in this case is 116 beats per minute. I'd like to make a more up-tempo track, so I set the project tempo to 130 beats per minute. BandLab asks if I'd like to adjust the existing audio regions to the new tempo. This would be helpful, so I select Adjust. I set this track to minus 10 dB to give me more headroom to add other elements. Before I go any further, I want to have a drum beat in place. First I want to make a punchy Euro-style kick drum. I open BandLab Sounds again, and this time select the One Shots tab. I enter Kick into the text search field. Kick Metro sounds cool, so I create a new sampler track and drag it onto the first sample pad. I copy this sample onto the second sample pad. You could do this by holding Option on Mac or Alt on Windows and dragging it over. I set this pad's pitch to plus 12 semitones. This gives me a more punchy, mid-range version of the kick that I'm going to play along with the original version to give me a Euro feel. I set this track to minus 12 dB to balance it with the synth loop sample. I sequence both pads to play on every beat of the bar. I duplicate this bar out for the rest of the 4-bar clip. To duplicate notes or clips in BandLab, hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows and drag them over. Now I want some tops to give the track more rhythmic energy. I add a new virtual instrument track and set it to drum pads 909. I add open hats between the beats, closed hats on the beats, and claps on the second and fourth beats with an extra clap on the final 8th note. I'd like to add some 16th note swing for a housey feel, so I turn Snap to Grid off by clicking the magnet icon. I add closed hats just after the 2nd and 14th 16th notes to add a touch of swing, then reactivate the magnet icon. I duplicate this bar out for the whole 4 bar sequence. I feel like the music and rhythm of the track are coming together, and now I want to flesh out the track's musicality. I add a new virtual instrument track, and set this one to leads, plucked lead. I set this track to minus 6 dB to balance it with the other elements. I compose a chord sequence that follows the synth loop sample, and plays a B flat major add 9, a G minor 7, an E flat major 7, and an F6 sus4. Then 
This sound is a little on the dry side, so I decide to add some effects. In the effects panel, I add a modulation chorus ensemble. I then add a delay, ping pong delay, turning the mix down to 24%. I then add a reverb, studio reverb. These effects help make the sound more rhythmically interesting and give it a richer stereo feel. Next I want to add a bass line. I create another virtual instrument track and set it to synth basses, lately bass. I set this track to minus 3 dB. I sequence a bass line that plays between each beat, following the root note of the chords. We now have the major elements of the track, but I'd like to add some more tracks to help make the track sound fuller and give me more building blocks to create a satisfying arrangement. First I want to add a drum loop to fill out the beat. In BandLab Sounds, I enter Rave into the text search field. I open the Rave 2020 pack and set the instrument filter to Beats. I drag Rave 2020 Beat 01 into the project then use the loop handle to loop the sample out for the full 4 bar clip. I set this track to minus 6 dB. The addition of this loop gives the beats a busier, more flowing feel. Next I'd like to add a euphoric retro piano. I duplicate the Plucked Chords track by right-clicking it and selecting Duplicate Track. I change the new version of the track's instrument to Keyboards, Studio Grand. I set this track to minus 9 dB. Now I want to add another synth sound that will help me keep the arrangement interesting. In BandLab Sounds, I change the instrument filter to Synth. Rave 2020 Synth 01 has a cool sound, but I want to be able to create my own sequence with it. So I add another sampler track and drag Rave 2020's Synth 01 into the first pad. I set the sample end marker to the end of the first note, and set the pitch control to plus 5 semitones, so that the sample plays the root note of the track. I then duplicate this pad, setting the new version's pitch to plus 10 semitones, a perfect fourth relative to the track's root note. I make another copy and set this one to plus 12 semitones, a perfect fifth relative to the track's root note. I set this track to plus 3 dB to balance it with the other elements. I sequence a part that plays the root note for the first two bars, followed by the perfect fourth for a bar, then the perfect fifth for a bar. I need some effects samples to help with the arrangement. In BandLab Sounds, I select the Loops tab, then search for Riser. I drag Speeding Riser into the project. I set the track to minus 3 dB. Next I search for Crash.
I drag 11 malarkey 123 chime crash into the project. I set this track to minus 6 dB. I'd also like a tom drum fill. I enter tom fill into the text search field and drag MB135 fill tom 1 bar into the project, positioning it so that it plays at the end of the 4 bar sequence. In the editor panel, I tune the fill down to minus 2 semitones. I set this track to minus 6 dB. Now I have all of the elements. It's time to arrange the track. I start with the beat in Rave Synth. On bar 5, the extra drum loop is added. On bar 9, the plucked chords come in. The riser and fill build up the breakdown on bar 17. The synth loop comes out during the breakdown. On bar 25, the beats and bass drop. Bar 33, the piano comes in to heighten the track's euphoric feeling. On bar 41, the synth loop and plucked chords drop out, and the rave synth returns. On bar 49, the plucked chords come back in. On bar 57, both the piano and plucked chords drop out, and we have a paired back outro. Remember, you can fork this project to make your own version of it using the link in the video description. Have fun!